Today is day 25 of the 25 days of prayer for Advent. Yesterday, I received a package. Um, it came from a friend of mine from out of state and it wasn't expected. Yes, we're getting Amazon orders all the time. Yes, we are um, getting things from different websites in preparation for us to give to other people this Christmas. But this was a gift that somebody gave me. She told me that I could open it anytime. And um, I haven't opened it yet, simply because the thought of it made me smile. Just the fact that she went out of her way to send me something. And I sent her a text message and I was like, wow, what an unexpected surprise. And thank you. And she said, um, I just wanted you to know that you're loved. And I said, you're the best. And she replied to me, no, I'm not the best. God is the best. And in that moment, I realized I need to reflect on how good God is because he is the one that gives good and perfect gifts. In James 1.17, it says, every good and perfect gift is from above. Coming down from the father of heavenly lights, who does not change like the shifting shadows. Every good and perfect gift comes from above, from God. So every time you feel like you've received something that just nourished you, blessed you, made you feel like you were on cloud nine, that is, those are gifts from God. You can see gifts from God in nature. You can see gifts from God in coincidences. There are no coincidences with God, by the way. He orchestrates everything perfectly. Um, but when you look around and you see things that bring delight, that you think, wow, that's so perfect. That's such a perfect moment. That's a gift from God. And in this Christmas season, the best gift that he gave us was his son, Jesus. He is the best and he is a generous, generous gift giver. So let's pray. Father of heavenly lights, thank you that you do not change like the shifting shadows. Thank you, Lord, that every good and perfect gift comes from you. Help us to be aware of all the gifts that you have given us so that we don't take it for granted, but have a heart of thankfulness. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus, as the perfect and ultimate gift to us. In his precious name we pray. Amen.